All right, welcome back to the Ultimate Mixdown. Today we're going to create a custom drum machine in Reaper using the extremely powerful and free sampler plugin that comes with Reaper itself, and that's Resamplematic 5000. Just like any sampler, you can load in and manipulate multiple samples to make beats or lay down drums for basically any genre of music. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to load the drum machine with your own samples and start creating. Now real quick, be sure to pick up my free 7 Steps to a Pro Level Mix if you haven't gotten it yet, link in the description below. And I'll also be giving away templates that I use for the drum machine in Reaper as well. Alright, let's get started. Create a new track over here in the track control panel by double clicking. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to set our input to input MIDI, all MIDI inputs, all channels. This is going to set you up if you have a keyboard or a drum pad machine that you can use to trigger those samples. And then your recording MIDI, MIDI overdub. Now we set this up because we want to be able to record the notes on top of other notes. So if we lay down the kick and then we lay down the snare, we lay down the hi-hats, they're all getting recorded. Now for the fun part, click effects and then you want to select Resamplematic 5000 from your plugins. It should already be there. This comes with Reaper. So this is where we're going to load our samples into. Now you could use the browse feature to find the samples, but I find it much easier to set this machine up by using the Media Explorer in Reaper. So you can see that by doing Command I on a Mac or Control X on a PC. And then you just navigate to the folder that has your samples. I'm already there. We're going to use a new instance of Resamplematic 5000 for each drum sample. So we'll start with the kick. You just click and drag, bring it right into the sampler. And I have mappings for how I like my drums to line up on the keyboard. So I'm going to put those note start and note ends here. For kick, I have C2, and you can use this dial to go through the different notes. Make sure that the note start and the note end is the same, so that that one note on the keyboard is triggering this sample. And then one other thing is if you don't want the note to continuously ring out as long as the sample is, and you just want to cut that sample as soon as you let go, so you can click this obey note offs. Okay, so now that we got through that, let's add the rest of our samples. They're going to use different notes starting in so that they don't trigger at the same time as the kick. To copy the instance of Resamplematic 5000 right here, it's very easy on a Mac. Command, click, drag. Command, click, drag. Until you get 7. So building from the bottom up, we've got kick, now snare. So bring that one onto the second one, and you see it got renamed here. Alright, and I'm going to set the snare to D2, so that's 38. Okay, now snare is on D2. Now snare rim will be the next one, and I'm going to set that to D sharp too, so that's 39. And then claps, I'm going to set that to E2, so that's 40. Okay, and if you have your MIDI device set up correctly and you follow it along with this, and you record armed on your drum machine, you should be able to play those samples. Now if you don't want to set this up yourself, I highly recommend you get the templates that I'm giving absolutely free down in the description below. And if you've already done the work, I would say save it as an effects chain at the least, okay, or save it as a track template. Now that we have the drums loaded into the sampler, into the, into the instances of the sampler, all on the same track, we can start recording. And if you're just going to record using a drum pad or a keyboard, then you can just press the record button and start that recording, and it'll automatically record MIDI right onto that track. Now, if you're not recording the MIDI, you can create a new MIDI item with Option Drag on a Mac or Control Drag on a PC, and just draw in how many bars you want. Or you can select the area, and then on a Mac, Option Shift M is the keyboard shortcut, or Control I on a PC. Either way, you'll have this MIDI item that you can start drawing in your MIDI notes. Now one cool feature with Reacher <laughs> Now one cool feature with Reaper is that you can draw the notes in the track itself. You just click E after clicking the MIDI item and you can see the piano roll here. So you could draw those notes in here if you'd like, or if you want to use Reaper's more sophisticated MIDI editor, you can double click the MIDI item. Okay, now I have my view in piano roll, and I recommend you do this as well. And if you scroll down to the notes that we had put the samples on. Resamplematic 5000 automatically brings those sample names to the notes that we put them on. So the kick is on C2, the snare is on D2, the clap is on E2, and so forth. So I can just look at this and I can draw those notes right in. I don't have to worry about any of the blank spaces. I'm going to record them. So let's put our metronome on and start recording. Now it's time to do the snare. All right, now we're going to add the rim and snare.
Okay, now we're going to add some hi-hats. All right, let's add a crash now. And that's it. Be sure to grab the free stuff down below. Thanks again for joining the Ultimate Mixdown, and I hope to see you in the next video.